Hi, this lecture is about analyze an issue which is an essay on the analytical writing assessment section on the GRE. Okay, so what's the objective? With this task, the GRE evaluates your critical thinking and persuasive writing skills. These skills are imperative at the graduate and postgraduate level education. You are presented with an issue of general interest such as censorship, democracy, education, society. And your task is to present your position on the issue. By position, I mean you either agree or you disagree with the issue presented. Remember, there are no right or wrong answers. So ETS won't evaluate you if you say if you agree with their provided issue or if you disagree with their provided issue. Remember, there are no preferred positions either. So your score is basically based on how well articulated and logically supported your argument is. So if you agree with something, so what reasons have you provided for the agreement? Or what reasons have you provided for the disagreement are basically counted in your scores. Okay, so let's talk about some tips for analyze an issue task. So it's important that you read the issue carefully and you read the instructions as well. Although you must have read the instructions numerous times while you were practicing for it, but I still recommend to read them one more time before you start attempting your exam. Provide reason and evidence to support your position. So since the GRE essay readers look for a compelling argument so, your reasons and evidence should be convincing. Before typing your essay, always do some scratch work. So, write what your first reason is to support your position, what your second reason would be to support your position. So, always do some scratch work before you start your essay. You should provide at least two, at least two compelling reasons to support your position. However, I, I always recommend not to go or not to provide any more than three reasons. The reason I, I want to stay between, I want you to stay between two and three reasons is because I personally, when I, when I structure my uh, essays, I dedicate a paragraph to each reason. So uh, two reasons means that I would be uh, giving or writing two paragraphs for, for those two reasons. If I have three good compelling reasons, so that means I would be writing three paragraphs. So that would account for the major portion of the essay that I'm going to write on the GR. So, two or three compelling reasons are good enough. You should never write your essays in bullet points where you have 10 different reasons to support your, uh, your position. Provide response to a counter argument. So think about the, let's say, the two reasons that you've given and try to anticipate uh, what the naysayers those people who uh, have a different opinion than yours would say about your evidence or your reasons and try to give them a counter argument. So if you could do that, you can really increase your chances of scoring between 5 and 6 on the GRE, on the GRE analytical writing assessment exam. Finally, 
at ets.org you have access to hundreds of pools of issue so the eds actually gives you these issues or analyze an issue task from this pool but remember this is a huge pool there are at least 3 to 400 issues on this web page so you can go and you can try to read as many issues as you as you can as you want but remember you cannot be prepared for all of them so so i recommend that you go and you read these issues and you just think about a good number of them so you can get a feeling of what kind of topics and issues you can uh, encounter uh, in the exam so you can be mentally prepared for them